<sighs> Lilas log. Walk date. September something I don't know anymore. Location. A bunch of damn stairs. I boldly go to miles of unknown. I think I am now at step too much. That's probably my new number now. We should add that to all algebra equations. <sighs> but we must walk on because there is roasted lamb waiting. Roasted lamb. What it do, my moochins? I know you're waiting for the good morning, but the good morning is not coming just yet. So right now we're in a restaurant called Licha Luca or Luch or Licha Luca. I'm not really sure, but the name would appear somewhere around here. Don't worry. And we just came from the Plajeski Lakes Park. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right either, so the name's gonna appear right here somewhere. But that was a death march, just so you know. That Maria dragged me on, but it was all right. Before we talk more about those parks. How about some B-roll? Here you go. Now there is a lot to talk about with this park and you would think we should start with the waterfalls, but no, first we're gonna start with the price. It costs 200 kunas to get in here, which is about $31. But I'll tell you more about it if it's worth it later. Second, your feet are going to hate you at the end of the day. Ain't no way around this, so wear proper footwear. There are slippery spots, lots of rocks, and unlevel terrain. And if you don't have any corns, bunnies, or blisters on your feet now, get ready to welcome some new family members. Third, if you are going with your partner, try to get a foot massage credit from them. Plan it in advance, and hold on to that credit until after the park visit. Don't use it the night before thinking you want to get your feet ready for this. Nah, son, don't do it. But now that I'm done with this portion of my complaint, I'll let Maria tell you more about the park. <laughs> so the park is open all year long, but it has different operating hours and prices depending on the season. The entry fee includes the entrance to the park, the usage of the bus, and the boat inside the park. Now there are seven routes that you can do, and you can pick one or even combine a few of them based on your physical condition and the length of your stay, in case that you want to buy a two-day package ticket. Now we did a medium to high route, which is route C, and that starts in entrance number one. Lila's almost strangles me because we walk for over six hours with no food. But no worries, their routes are only two hours. Two hours? What do you mean this rocks with only two hours? I walked four hours for no damn reason? Ouch. Anyway, you will find more detailed information about this on our Patreon page this week. No damn anyway. Six hours walking with no water fountain or bathroom along its path, just restaurants that you gotta walk to and still pay for it and it costs $31 to get in? Ah! Good morning! <laughs> so guys, how beautiful were the Plevite uh, waterfalls and park overall? So something that you have to know is that during the summer months, they open at 7 a.m. So if you like to wake up bright and early, that is exactly the perfect time to come because it's not as hot and when non-corona times, it's not as packed and busy. Now there is, I believe there are about six to seven different routes. One starts in the entrance number one and the other one's in the entrance number two. We decided to start in the entrance number one because you have better views of all the uh, waterfalls that you're going to see throughout the park and that's something that we found very very true and good to know because otherwise we would have to like just turn around which is not good <laughs> but anyway be ready to walk 
there is a lot of walking to do. You can take, um, there's like a tram, bus kind of thing, but you also get to uh, ride a boat. And even with all those ways of transportation, you still walk a lot. We decided to do the Plavici Lakes first because if we would have eaten this wonderful food, we would have not done any walking. So that's how I tricked Lailas, and that's how he kept focused. He focused on the roasted lamb while we were able to walk. Now let's eat. So we ordered the veal and the lamb that is cooked under the bell. We'll show you what that looks like. But you have to order this way in advance. So what we decided to do was to stop by the restaurant before starting our walk and we ordered this delicious food. But you can also call in advance. I can't see your plate. Get some. I was going to say, you know, you can get some vegetables. Get some greens right? here, some veggies. So at least look out. Oh, the veggies don't even want to come. Look at that. Just a potato. That was a potato. That's not even a potato. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, man, I got to grab some of this veal, too. Get some of this. Let me get a nice small piece. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. The meal of champions right here. <laughs> So what are you gonna try? Of course I'm going for that roasted lamb. That's what I've been waiting for the entire time. I took a loan out today on calories, all that walking I did, just for this roasted lamb. Oh yeah. You've been waiting for me, oh I deserve you. I'm sorry for anybody sitting around this. I'm glad there's nobody, cause it was a long walk. I was a lot sweaty. And I don't really give a damn how I smell right now, cause I'm starving. So. Oh, look at this, it's breaking apart. Let, let, let me be cool. Let me be cool. Let me be cool. Let me be cool. Oh. oh my goodness, yes. This meal is spread, just looks so good. When they put it on the table, I just couldn't wait to just like, I didn't even want to use a fork. I just want to throw my hands and just grab it and eat it. You were salivating. Oh yeah. Because you can smell it, like the smell would just come, like as they were bringing it around the corner, the smell is just in your face. It's just, <sighs> and as they cook it here in the middle of the room, yeah. it's like it's all the smells are all you, The smells <laughs> is everywhere. Like you, when you come in here, you don't just take regular like, mm, mm. you gotta take like the rocks kind of like smell to the food and you just, <sighs> <sighs> that's how you do when you walk in here. Okay. Oh, no. That's what I waited for. So much flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so soft. So soft. I, I know I'm chewing, but it doesn't feel like I'm chewing. It's like the meat just spreads before my teeth come down. It's like, no, nah, we got this. It's good. Oh, that's so awesome. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. It's nice and soft. The texture, the taste. Oh, my God. Mm. I've started eating fat a lot more. I don't know, I guess I've been missing out on the fat. I've never been the one to eat fat in any of the meats I've had, but <laughs> you best to get this one. Mm -hmm. I almost said the walk was worth it. That was a mistake. This food is always worth it. The walk isn't. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Ooh, and the outer layer is a little thick that out. Mm. That toughness and yet soft like chewiness to it. Oh. This is happy food. This is happy food. Happy food right here. Oh. Where's my 5,000? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. You're sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> this is sweat from the lakes. That's what that is. <laughs> Since Lila stay the lamb first and the veal second, I'm gonna go backwards. Ow. This carrot doesn't wanna stay with my veal. That's What's going on? <laughs> well, I wanna be healthy with all this walking. I just wanna like pay it off. I'm like seeing myself 20 kilos They've thinner. They've seen the meal that we ordered. They know it's already over. Let's check it out. Mmm, okay. What do you think? Is it like too hard, nice? I'm processing. Processing. <laughs> 
go. The taste is phenomenal. I have to say that. You can totally taste the veal, like it's really good. It's earthy kind of uh, feeling, but it is dry. Um, oh, you when, want it to be dry? Yeah, I find it dry. I think that with a little bit of sauce, um, maybe if I put a little bit of this sauce that I have here, it will give me that caramelized uh, taste to it. But initially, it is a little bit dry. I think that it's missing like, and of course, hey, I'm not cooking here, so I don't want to say anything. But I will give it 20 more minutes of cooking time. Mm, much better. Much better with the sauce. Well, maybe we shouldn't be filming the food for so long and it dry it out. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not an added sauce, guys. This is the sauce that the meal was cooked in. So it's all natural. So it's the same flavor of the, as the meal. But it's a little bit dry, just a little bit. Now let's taste the uh, lamb. Oh wow, look at this. It just like literally opens up. And this is the fat that my baby was talking about. Like you're fighting with the fat. Um, listen, I don't want to take it all because I'm going to be chewing this meat for hours and I can talk to you. <laughs> but at the same time, I really want to try that fat. <laughs> okay, Oop, I shouldn't have put that potato. I don't want to get distracted. Let's eat that lamb. Oh. You can taste that. It just melts, right? Unbelievable. It's just literally like melt inside of your mouth. Like, like you don't ugh. have to chew. It just spreads Nothing. itself for you. It's so good, it's so tender, so glazy. Like it's true, it's like caramelized from the outside. It's I so have, good. I have no idea what glazy is, but I agree with you. You know, like uh, glazed on it, like that feeling, like that cover up, that's how it feels when you, I don't even want to say bite into it because I'm not even biting. I'm just like letting it be, <laughs> doing their thing. <laughs> it's really good. Now, let me give you a tip. I order a beer to start the meal because it was really hot and thirsty. They have their um, local beer right here. And it has a very interesting taste. I haven't had a beer like this in a long time, uh, but it reminds me of some like German beers because at the end it's like really toasted, if that makes sense. But anytime I eat veal or lamb, there is nothing like pairing it with a red wine. And I know Lila's is saying that's because you're an alcoholic right now. Well, that's true. <laughs> but it is true. And again, they make this wine in this area. So I'm going to try it right now. I haven't tried it yet. So let's see what we can do. Mmm, smells really good. For all you wine enthusiasts out there. Wow. Is it? Wow. Is it tough? Is it? I'm just saying tough because... You mean dry? dry. <laughs> there you go. It's dry. Uh, so something that I have learned is that most Croatian red wines are very dry, which right down my alley. Um, but it is very um, earthy. I have tried some red wines from Australia that are this kind of earthy mineral wines and that's what it reminds me of. Does it go good with the lamb? This goes perfectly with the lamb. I was just about to say that. <laughs> perfectly with the lamb. Cheers. Baby, do you want to tell us about the meat and how it's cooked? Mm -hmm. No. I don't know. Do you want me to talk about the food? No, but we haven't told them how it's cooked. We kept saying that it's pecked under the bell, but they have no idea what we're talking about. Pekka, it's under the bell, and here it is on the plate. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So, while we've been while we've been trying different Croatian foods, what we've been searching for was this meal called pekka, and apparently, it's a lot of different um, meats I believe that they can cook inside of it. But it looked so cool, and it looked like it was going to taste delicious because it's cooked underneath like this bell, over with coals and everything on top, and the ashes over it and everything, and it's just there to just like simmer and just roast and just cook in there for hours. And when we've seen it in this restaurant here, they allow you, it's like right out in the open so you can see the whole thing. So of course, that was one of the things that we wanted to do. Been looking forward to that since we started this road to where we can find a place that shows it and that we can capture it to show you guys and also so we can enjoy it for you guys as well. Because I walked a lot of damn miles, so I'm going to enjoy this for both of us. It takes so long to cook and obviously that's a real slow cooking process which allows all the meat, all the juices to just sit there and simmer and and just make love to each other, basically. It's just, <laughs> it's mm, just love. Just love. Just, that was freaking fast. Oh. I can't even like capture that cake. Well, the cake was about this big, and it tastes like that good. 
<laughs> like one good? <laughs> that good. <laughs> so yeah. I forgot we had to do a closeout, right? Right. Almost the verdict. Now that you've eliminated the cake. This cake is so good. Um, all right. So, guys, the food here was delicious. Love the atmosphere here. As you've seen the restaurant, you see it's like a, it's a great open space. We're inside. There's a nice open outside area. It's kind of small, but it is like a great spot to just sit down and relax and enjoy these delicious meals or drink. Yeah, but it, we had to come inside because that's Pekka. Yeah. We had to see that Pekka. Thing. We had to see the Pekka Bell. We had to go check that out. And I, I just had to see it for myself. Knowing that that's where my food came from just makes it taste so much better, even in your head. It's like, mm, you were in that pot for a long, long time. <laughs> but yeah, guys, definitely a great place to come and visit. Again, we did this after the walk, so you have a goal to get to. Like I said, you put the food at the end, it gives you a reason to walk. If you do the food first, I'm just not going to walk. So keep that in mind. Outside of that, I don't think there's anything else I can say, guys. This food is delicious. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. But besides that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the next time we go in and enjoy some delicious food. I was about to say go on a walk, but that ain't going to happen. So guys, until the next time, remember to live the life you want, love the life you live, and travel. And mamuchas out. Even if it was the right way, I ain't going up no damn stairs.